What's going on YouTube? Just finished installing my uh, relay system, the uh, co-pilot for my power drive BT. Now this particular one is only compatible with the BT and not the V1 or the V2 or any of the older uh, power drive or bow mount trolling motors. I could have got the uh, co-pilot which is um, just replacing the head with the co-pilot so I can have a spot lock. But I didn't feel like dishing out almost $500 for that. So I just went with the remote. I want to see how comfortable I will be on the water. Um, excuse all the junk. I got, uh, I'm going out tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure I had everything that I needed. Yeah, no more fighting with this guy. I think I still may need it for the uh, for the speed. Well, uh, no, I can actually turn that boy all the way up to 10 and just leave it tucked away in the front of the uh, kayak. I got the Ascend 133X. Bought it last year. Go on my page and check out all the videos and the upgrades and the lights and everything that I put on it. Yeah, uh, it was real easy. Um, what you have to do is take out the, uh, there's two screws on both side panels, side plates. So you just take out the screws, the plate comes out. Uh, the right one comes completely off. And of course, this one just spins. And you can kind of just thread it out the way. We go on this side. So yeah, you'll take both uh, both panels out. You take the relay system, connect it to uh, the right panel. There's uh, two pre-drilled screw holes that the uh, the relay just screws into, and then you have to uh, take off the center hatch to kind of thread the cords through um, for the relay system and the foot control pedal because you have to hook these two cords up to the relay system and instead of tucking the wires in it's not enough room under here so I just kind of left them dangling these connectors are really solid so I'm real confident that it won't uh, take in any water um, if I do look like I'll be buying a whole new trolling motor or using my warranty <laughs> but uh but now it's, it's real solid it's real solid so i figured even if it's tucked under here and water gets on the trolling motor you know what i'm saying i should still be gravy but yeah uh let me show you how it worked i thought i had to uh program the remote and take that little plastic piece that's normally <clears throat> in between the battery and the battery connectors, but it didn't have the plastic and I didn't have to uh, program it. So here we go. Middle button is to turn on the motor. Of course, the speed controls are here. Speed it up. down with the minus button until it comes to a complete stop and then you have the ability to swing that boy around 360 degrees to get you out of trouble or keep you on that spot so yeah I think this is going to make a lazy dude like me even lazier and I like laziness. I like to keep my hands on the fishing rods as much as possible and this is going to help. I actually purchased a um, <laughs> crazy story. I bought the remote control thinking that BT, of course means Bluetooth, but 
thinking the remote control can uh, can do what I was looking for it to do. And that was not the case. Once I actually did some research, I'll tell you about spending spending money too quick. Did some research and found out that I needed the relay system. So I got a spare remote. And, um, and yeah, so that works well too. So uh, this does come with a, a lanyard where you can... Um, you know, hang it around your neck or whatever. Put it on your uh, your vest or however way you want to do it. But yeah, it was real easy. It literally took maybe 15 minutes. The longest part was trying to determine if I was going to tuck those wires inside this little hatch. And it's not enough space, so I didn't want to knock any of those uh, connectors loose. And there's a transistor under there that I definitely didn't want to knock loose. So, or capacitor, I should say. But, uh, but yeah, this is going to work out well. Can't wait to get her on the water.